Today I'm doing a project inspired by a book I got called Craft the Rainbow 40 Colorful Paper Projects by Brittany Watson Jepson. And this is a product a project called Paper Weaving Technique and it's something that I had supplies for. Um, some of the projects I want to do but I need to get a few more supplies first. Uh, so this one I had pretty much everything and compromised on the rest. So um, you're supposed to have some sketch pad paper, acrylic paint, paintbrush, paper cutter or scissors, masking tape, spray adhesive, and a 12 by 12 or 11 by 17 inch piece of cardstock. So I actually um, don't have sketch pad paper um, or cardstock. So I just use my leftover fine art paper for the actual weaving, which is a little thicker than um, the sketch pad paper for sure um, but again just using what I had on hand um, was still able to be resourceful and um, actually it made a nice stiff weaving which uh, probably did, didn't even need to be backed by the cardstock because the cardstock is what you um, use the spray adhesive to stick it on when you're done weaving it so uh, if you've never done this it's similar to weaving with fabrics and textile weaving but it's done with paper and I used to do this as a kid all the time we would use construction paper in school and um, I think I've even done it with newspaper before um, so first thing you do is uh, you I mean if you have colored paper you can do that but her project is actually painting the paper with the acrylic paint and uh, the fun thing about that is I know when I was a kid and I did it with construction paper you basically have the primary colors and maybe maybe a few earth tones but uh, with this you can really do any colors you want and especially because this book of hers is about color and she shows some of her favorite um, color combinations which is kind of fun she's got a lot of good um, ideas and inspiration and um, I use my own colors here trying to stay uh, with kind of more pinks and yellows with a touch of green and also uh, when you paint them yourself you can add some cool patterns that give a little more interest to the weaving So I actually did two weavings and just used, um, I did one with the pink and yellow and one with the green and yellow. All right, so after they've dried, uh, we're going to cut them and you can just use scissors and especially if you're using the thinner sketch pad paper you could probably layer a bunch of them together this was a little thicker the first one I only did one at a time and um, then I started doing two at a time and uh, I think uh, I honestly just was winging it this whole time as far as uh, not totally following all the instructions I'm trying to see what she said for the width I just kind of chose something that went I thought would be good for the size of the paper I had but um, let's see what she does fourth inch wide strips or, or six millimeter so that's pretty tiny um, mine are definitely thicker mine are at least Oh gosh, two or three times that. Uh, mine are half to three quarters inch, I believe. So that also um, made a difference in my weaving because if you have longer strips and these are only eight inches because they're the scraps from my eight by ten uh, printer paper. Uh, it's not print paper, but it's paper. It's fine art rag paper by Canson that I use for prints. And these are just some of the trimmed, trimmed ends that I trimmed off the prints that I 
have printed recently and they were in my scrap pile uh, so that's what I was using and uh, so um, you could definitely do more intricate weavings if you have uh, thinner strips and a lot long longer sh pieces of paper than the 8 inch so uh, you could really go crazy with this if you wanted and um, the nice thing is also it's fun to just uh, make up patterns and how you do that is there's a few ideas in the book which I copied one of them and this first one I actually just practice weaving like a checkerboard and it's just basically you alternate um, in and out um, every strip so uh, you go in and out and then the next strip you'll do the same thing uh, just skipping a stri strip of paper but you'll start um, like if one starts underneath the other the next strip will start uh, over the top so like right now I'm over the top on the first strip and I just keep alternating and it'll create th that checkerboard pattern and you just want to kind of shove them all up next to each other and uh, yeah you tape them down I taped down the first set of strips pretty close together and you'll want to if you're I am t just totally just randomly making a pattern here so I did decide maybe I'll, I'll just vary it a little bit by doing a few that skip skip a few and then I think I go back to my checkerboard pattern again um, but yeah, yeah I mean you could do hearts I mean if you had a lot of um, you could do like chevrons or um, diamonds uh, if you had a lot of paper and a lot thinner strips you could probably do uh, like pictures even in your design um, not just uh, geometric shapes so uh, yeah there's a lot of options with this project and what I really like is actually just designing your own colors for the projects and seeing how they turn out um, this one these are very cheerful colors uh, the other one I do after this is more a monochrome like they're all the same uh, color and value so um, it was a little more subtle this one's a lot of this one would be nice if you're trying to do a picture because you have such high contrast like if you did a red heart you would definitely see the heart and there's like if you did two colors that are very close in value um, it might be a lot more subtle so anyway when you're done with this um, she wants you to use a spray adhesive to um, stick it on some cardboard and that will give it some strength and then also after that you just trim it trim the ends because they're kind of rough but uh, and then you can just frame it or you could uh, hang it on the wall um, you know you can put it under glass even uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it so uh, we used to make placemats I believe um, in school for Thanksgiving and um, yeah so um, kind of a fun project and here uh, is me using the glue sticks on it and then I show the last one which I did at night so it's not as bright but um, there it is anyway I hope you enjoyed this and it inspires you to go uh, get some paper and do a paper weaving yourself